Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, converting video to animated GIFs. <laughs> well, here we are in 2015 and I can't believe I'm still talking about animated GIFs. In fact, because they're now supported uh, on uh, Facebook, uh, they seem to have exploded yet again. And I can remember in the 90s cutting bytes off of uh, the size of GIFs to try to make them work on primitive websites. Oh boy. But here we are, we're back to, uh, to using them everywhere and, and you can post them in a lot of places. The cool thing about um, making them out of Premiere Pro, and that's the tool we're going to use, is it's very easy. It's actually built in. You can export out of uh, Photoshop also, but you know what? Even if you've got something in Photoshop and it's animated, I'd bring it over here into uh, Premiere Pro. Let's go have a look. All right, in my timeline, I just have uh, a few layers here. I thought I would animate a little interesting, little moving animation and export this out, including uh, titles, including effects. Um, remember that anything can be exported uh, out of a normal Premiere Pro interface. So if it's an After Effects animation, uh, you can drop that in as dynamic link. Um, if it's any kind of video that you just shot with filters, effects, whatever, any of those things can be exported. So here's our little animation. And I'm going to just export this out by going to the File menu, Export. And I could have also chosen... Control M on Windows, Command M on the Mac. And when it opens up in your format support up here, it may not already be on animated GIF. And in fact, it'll probably be on something uh, like H.264. And you just click on the format options and animated GIF is right there. The preset that it starts with is 322, 40, 10 frames a second, but you can change anything that you want down here. For instance, audio is turned off because GIFs don't support audio. We can go into the effects and although we can put image overlays and, and things like that, um, the only one I find useful is maybe going in here and turning on some of these um, lookup tables or Lumetri looks, anything that you, you may have uh, have loaded in here. So let me just grab a 70s look on this. Back in the video side of things, we've got the quality slider. And, you know, you can just leave that sucker all the way up to 100. I mean, you're, you're not going to be exporting out giant HT uh, animated GIFs. If you are, they're going to be ginormous. I did, when I exported this one at 10 frames a second at 720 by 720, which is the size of the animation, it was 30 megabytes, which may not seem large in the video world, but in the image world, that's way too big. You want to get that smaller. Uh, mine is square, so I'm just going to change mine to 320 by 320. And now you can see it gets all of my video in. You also have to make sure that these haven't been changed, like the field order. Uh, GIFs are progressive. They don't have interlacing. And they have square pixels. If, if these got changed, and you can see right here, I've got black bars in the top and the bottom, because that darn thing changed. Make sure I'm on square pixels. So progressive square pixels and a frame rate of, of whatever you want to choose here. I'm just going to do it on 10. People, you know, they expect GIFs to be less than great quality. Plus, you're going to save an enormous amount of space um, and, and uh upload time and even preview time uh, because once you put this in a, uh, a browser window it has to you know play all of those frames so make it simple all right I'm just going to uh, export this out save and if I chose Q it would go out to media encoder I'm just going to choose export because this is so ridiculously fast and small so there we go, export that, close the window. Now let's jump out to where that is. And let's look at this first. So let me drag my test into here. And there it is. Boom, boom. Remember with the LUT on there and the effect on the very end is going to blur that out before it's gone. There we go, and the GIF is, GIF is set to loop 
Um, so now we can upload this to any service. Um, I happen to be using Giphy. Um, click on upload and drag that same GIF over here to drop my files. Click on upload. And there it is now on Giphy. And they give you a, a few buttons down here in the bottom left, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and the such. So if I want to paste this on Facebook, I'll click in here, put it on my own timeline. I'll just call this GIF test. Share that link. It's uploaded. And there it is pasted in my page, ready to go. There we go. Animated GIF posted with all of the uh, title, animation, and blur. So it's that easy to do uh, right out of Premiere Pro. And like I said, even if you uh, have other applications that don't support going out that easily to animate a GIF, then just throw that stuff right into Premiere Pro, including layered Photoshop files, Illustrator files, effects, titles, After Effects, uh, dynamic link comps, all of that stuff right inside there. All right. Thanks everyone for all your wonderful support here on Video Revealed. I really do appreciate it. And uh, if you're new to Video Revealed, then please take a moment and subscribe. Um, if you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a link in the description for you to get your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best.